Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today I want to talk about my EDC tool pouch loadout setup. This is the third and final version of this tool pouch and it's the result of making changes over time and getting feedback from people on the channel. So we're going to run through it here real quick. You can see I'm using a VanQuest pouch here. This is the EDC Maximizer. I'll have a link in the description. I know they've made some updates. So this pouch might be harder to get than it was initially. So you can see on the outside of the pouch here, we have some Velcro here you can attach items to. Got a pocket here on the outside of the, the pouch. It's got Molly on the back, which you can mount things underneath. Strap on the top, it's folded over and stitched down. I got a magnet here on the side that's just for screw retention or attaching something quickly to the outside of the pouch. It's just a neodymium magnet, one magnet on each side. So, all right, let's get a quick weight on the pouch. I'm gonna take this scale and turn it on and let it zero out. I'm just gonna hook it here on the pouch and lift it up here and get a quick weight. Once it locks in there, there's our weight, 4.96 pounds. So basically five pounds is how heavy the pouch is. Now I've got an Olight clip light here on the outside. This is something I just put on the pouch. I'm trying it out from Olight. If you double tap the button on the side, this light flashes red. You turn it off and then you hold the button down on the side. You get this moonlight mode. If you tap it, then it goes to low, medium, and then high. So it's just a handy light to have with the built-in clip. You can see the clip here's got some it's magnetic, but it's also got a rubberized piece here on each side that really gives it a really nice grip and a magnet here on the back side, so you can see it, you can clip it to something. So not only can it magnetically hold and it can tail stand when you're using it, it can also be clipped. So really handy, you can clip it to a hat, a pouch, you know, your tool bag. Yeah, it could light up the inside of like this Vito Tech MCT blackout. So you can see it's got a button there on the outside. We just press in to turn the light on. I press to turn it off. This side, it's got a port, a USB-C port for charging. Just pull that port cover off, flip it down. You can get to the USB-C port so it's rechargeable. Don't have to worry about trying to find batteries for it. So what do we have here? We have a right in the rain pad in here that's weather resistant. It's designed that you can write on it when it's damp and it doesn't smear ink and that sort of thing. I'll have a link to that and all these items in the description. Here we have a Klein Tools Precision Screwdriver. It's a four-in-one. It's one of these ones that has flip bits on the end. So like we got a Phillips zero size bit there, and this is a 330 seconds flat bit there. And you flip it out, flip it over. You got two smaller bits here. That's Phillips double zero, and then a, the equivalent small flat or spade bit on there. Now, this is the number on this screwdriver. I think it's maybe a little different these days. I'll have a link in the description, but this is a 32581. Really nice. It's got this spinner on top. So if you're using it, you can just kind of rest it in your palm and spin it around with a couple fingers. So it's a very handy uh, small screwdriver to use. Uh, over here, we have uh, the Olight O-Pen Glow. Now, you could use any ballpoint pen. I just happen to have this one in here, but this light, if you push the top button, you get a light. And of course I hold it down, it gets brighter like any Olight light. And it has one of those bolt action style pins. If you push this bolt down, pin comes out the tip. And then if I push the button to the top, it lights up the tip of the pen so you can see when you're writing. And when I take the bolt action off, it turns that light off. And then I can push this bolt action forward and just hold it for a couple seconds. And you'll see I get this green laser. If I push this bolt action up again, it turns the laser off. So just a nice pin from Olight. I really like it. It's a good pin in its own right. And of course it's a ballpoint pin. So it works well with this right in the rain pad. What else we have? Just a Sharpie marker here, a standard Sharpie fine point marker. So let's take a look at the inside of the pouch. Now, one thing I like about these pouches or I like to try to do with these pouches is set them up so they can kind of stand up on their end and I can pull tools out from the top. So I can have this here and I can pull out a screwdriver if I want, put the screwdriver back in the pouch. I want to be able to do that as much as possible. Not everything can be pulled out from the top, but a lot of it can be. So I like to use it in this mode as, as much as I possibly can. But this pouch has a zipper all the way around it. We can unzip and it's designed to be laid out and opened up flat. Now one of the requirements I have with this pouch is that the tools be in a vertical tool storage configuration, very similar to they would be in a Vito tool bag like this one here. I want the vertical tool storage. I wanted enough room to hold seven inch tools. This pouch affords that. And so you can really have full size tools that you would use on an everyday basis. I also like the fact that it has this orange rip stop here inside, so it makes it 
high visibility so you can see your tools more easily in the pouch so it's not so dark inside. I like the vertical tool storage as well because I want to be able to close the pouch and pull the tools from the top. So that's one of the requirements. I also don't want loose tools. I don't want to put them in a box or container where they're loosely floating around inside and they're not indexed in a location where I know where to find them quickly. And they're not in here sort of bouncing around and beating up against each other when, when you're traveling. So that's the idea of what I like about this VanQuest pouch. So let's go through what we have in this pouch. First off, I have an Olight. This is a Baton 2. You know, the current light would be the Baton 3 or Baton 4. But this is a great light from Olight. Works as a hat light, so I really like these lights. You can just clip it here on your hat, gets out of the way. The button is positioned where you can find it quickly when you're wearing the hat. And you know, you got a light there that tells you the charge status of the battery. So just a really handy light there from Olight. It's also got a magnetic base, just like that other Olight. You can mount the light. So just a handy flashlight to have in general. Now here I have a small pry bar. This is made by Olight. It's the Olight O-Knife O-Pry 2. And it's got a little compartment here you can flip down. You see it has some micro screwdriver bits in there that you can put in the end and turn those screwdriver bits. Also has a cap lifter, but this is in the bag just to have some sort of small pry bar in there. You could put something larger in, like this is a Dasco Pro pry bar. It doesn't quite fit in this pouch. They make a smaller one, I think more of a five inch version. This is seven and a half inch, but it doesn't really fit in the pouch the way I'd like it to. What else do we have? We have a uh, just a magnetic screw retrieval tool that extends out. It's a small one, so it fits in the pouch really well. It's got one of those pen clips in it or shirt pocket clips. I've got a pair of Klein flush cutters here. You won't always need these, of course. The same with some of these tools, but it is nice to have when you do need it. It's a nice American-made tool. You see made in the USA right there on the handle. Uh, excellent flush cutters from Klein and fits in the pouch well. They're relatively inexpensive. What else do we have? I've got, I'm going to stick with this side of the bag here. We've got a, a knife here. Now, this is a Work Pro utility knife. It's a folding utility knife. It's got a button here on it. This button here at the top right here, it, it locks the blade in. One of the few knives you'll see that actually locks the blade and keeps it from coming out. You push that button in, you can flip the blade out. And it's just a very handy knife to use. Flipper style knife. You can go in your pocket. It has a uh, deep carry clip here you can see. So you can put this in your pants pocket and it fits really well. It goes deep into the pocket, gets out of the way. Also has a quick blade removal feature here. You can just push up and pull the blade out of this WorkPro, right? So I can take the blade out, flip it around, have a sharp blade on the other end, push it back up. Of course, it snaps right back into place. So really probably one of the best tools that WorkPro makes and very inexpensive. You can get a three pack of these for like around $18 right now. It's just a really nice uh, utility knife to have around. Now the big item in here is I have a screwdriver, of course, from Klein. This is the Klein 14 uh, one adjustable screwdriver and uh, model number is 32303. Now this screwdriver is nice uh, in that it has uh, an extendable shaft on it so I can pull this collet down and it's got these different positions where you can click it out as long as you want this shaft. Nice and of course if you take it all the way out you can just pop it in your impact. So it works well also as a, an impact tool. But you just pop it in there. You can see it stores really well. It's very short, so it fits well in the pouch. It's one of the things I like about it. And you have just a lot of options here optimizing the space you have in the pouch. You can see we have a quarter inch and a 5 16 nut runner on this guy. And what you can do in this format is I can open up this carousel. There's 12 bits in here. And I can go around here and pick any bit out I want. I'm going to take the Phillip number two, very common bit. Magnetically draws right into the tip here. And now I have a number two Phillips screwdriver. So I can pop that bit out extend the shaft out. I can pull this down and now I have a driver for a quarter inch screw and you can see it's got a magnet in there that retains the screw. So that's really nice. And of course this is a flip bit, which means you can also flip this around. It's, it's magnetic here. So you can just wipe this off and clean off any shavings uh, the magnet captures. If I flip it around, now I have five sixteenths also re retains the screw magnetically. It's a five tenths, sixteenths screw I put in there or hex screw. Turns that no problem. So you get a lot of flexibility out of this tool and such a small form factor and that's why I have it in here just a lot of options and the fact it can condense down in such a small form factor makes it to me really handy. Uh, it does rattle a little bit this shank does that's something that takes some getting used to and you know the, the handle there's some creak here in the handle it's not too bad but in terms of the usability here and the fact you're getting 14 tools in one and access to all these bits that we can use as some other tools. I'll talk about that here in a minute. It's a really nice item to have in there. It works well and it complements this uh, Vim ratchet. So this is a Vim small flex head ratchet. Let's see if we can show the model number. It's RF8400. And you can see we push a button here on the back and it flexes this head up. Just a nice little quarter inch ratchet. I can take this out and I can take any of these bits that I had in this Klein screwdriver 
And this number two Phillips, for example, I can just pop it in there and I can run this quarter inch bit, one inch long, I take it out and I have, it comes with a uh, socket adapter here. So put the socket on here and now I have a quarter inch ratchet. Okay, so just a very, very handy tool. One of the, uh, one of the best tools that come out in some time in terms of its flexibility. It allows you to, to replace a lot of hex wrenches that you might have to carry L-shaped hex wrenches that take up space and um, Torx wrenches, etc. that you can put in a very small space. Uh, it comes with its own uh, four inch extension. You can pop the extension in here and of course uh, put any of the bits on that extension or you can use that extension to lengthen the handle to give yourself more leverage. And then of course, if I take this and line it up, there's some dots on here, line it up with that white dot on the ratchet. And I can just push this through and now I have a T-handle driver and I can put a bit in here. I'm gonna take this number two Phillips. Now you can see I have a T-handle style driver. So you can see how this tool would be really handy and replaces a lot of different tools in a very small form factor. So that's why this ratchet's in the bag. And if I just turn this to another setting, I can push it in and it doesn't get pushed through. Folds down right like this, so it fits in the bag really well. What's next? I just have a tire pressure gauge in here. Nothing special. This is made by Astro AI, just for checking tire pressure. Uh, the next thing I have, which I think is really handy, is a multimeter that is very small. You can, this is a full multimeter that you can see. This is one that folks are really familiar with the Fluke Volt Alert right here, you can see that this full multimeter is essentially the same size as this Fluke. And you get a full multimeter here as well as a non-contact voltage tester. So I can hold down the button here, turn it on. If I hit this button on the front for non-contact, you can see it says EF for electromagnetic field. I can go over here and I can test for voltage and just like you can with this non-contact fluke voltage tester. So it's got that feature, but at the same time, if I push the select button again and go back, I have a full blown multimeter here in this pouch, in this small form factor. So I can come in here and I can pull these leads out, push into the back of this multimeter, and now I've got a full multimeter here. And not only that, I've got a full auto multimeter. I can use this to test DC and AC voltage, just a really handy way, a very quick way. So you can test a car battery real quick, just a really handy multimeter to have. Of course, this front probe has a cover here that you can just lift right off to expose more probe. So really neat automatic multimeter in a very small form factor. What else do I have in here? I have some zip ties, just some black zip ties in the bag. I've put this uh, six inch Milwaukee bit driver in here that's designed for impact, but this guy can work with this Vim ratchet. So instead of having a four inch extension, just gives me a quick way to have a six inch extension. And I've needed this before when I needed more reach. So I just put it in the pouch and I think it's pretty handy to have. And of course it's designed to work with an impact. So if you do have an impact, you know, it works with your impact as well. What else to have in here? I have a plastic razor blade. I think these are really handy. Just a nice thing to have. Once you use these, you'll probably never use a regular metal razor blade again. In the center here, I've just got a, this is a small six foot tape measure to have in here. Uh, it's nothing special, just something small to fit in the bag. I'll have a link to something probably better in the description. Here I have a sliver puller, basically a set of tweezers. This is the uh, Uncle Billy's sliver gripper and it's made in the USA, really nice, very handy. It's got its own holder and if you pinch this, it comes out of the holder and now you have this really nice splinter remover or sliver remover, just a handy thing to have. It fits in the pouch really well. I'll push it back up in here, it clicks into place and it stays right there. I put that on this ring. The bag has a ring. I've used a night ice clip here to sort of clip them both on and I just kind of keep that back there. I have this driver here. Now this goes with this screwdriver. It's a separate bit. I've got a couple of these drivers and I keep this one in there. The difference is that if I put a bit in here, it doesn't magnetically retain screws. But I've take this shaft out and I put this other shaft in. This magnetic bit holder passes the magnetism to the drivers. So you can see now it's magnetic. So now I've got a magnetic bit holder and collapses down short just like the other driver does. So just handy to have in the bag if you really need magnetic screw retention. So I just went ahead and included the shaft in the bag. And of course this will work with an impact driver as well. There's the other side of that neodymium magnet. I use this to retain some tools in here or just a quick way to retain screws and that sort of thing. I got some Scotch 33 electrical vinyl tape here. There's a loop that comes with these VanQuest. It's very handy. And I've uh, attached to that. So that's handy. I can just kind of toss that out of the way. You can see what I have next here in the bag is a pair of the Knipex pliers wrench. This is Knipex 8601180. The 180 is the length of this pair of pliers. That means it's seven and a quarter inches. They say they're, a lot of people say they're seven inches, but it's actually seven and a quarter inches. It's push button adjustable. You can go to these different sizes. I did have a six inch pair of Knipex plier wrench in here. I went to the seven inch, so it just had that much more uh, capability. They fit in the pouch. You can see they've, the pouch has enough room because it's eight inches tall to fit these. If you feel you need more room or your pouch won't quite contain them, you can go down to the six inch Knipex uh, pliers wrench. Next is the Cobra pliers from Knipex. So this is a Knipex 8701 180s. Again, the 180 on this one means they're about a seven and a quarter inch in length. And same thing here, I've upgraded from the six inch 
pliers so I can get a bigger bite with the ends here. Just more capability out of a plier that's about the same size. So it just gives more capability to the pouch. I prefer having you know a larger pair of pliers in here. The next item I have here, and I've changed this as well, a pair of Snap-on long nose pliers. This is their slip joint. It's the Snap-on LN46 ACF. Again, this one's seven and a quarter inch, just like these other pliers are all about the same length, okay? Seven and a quarter inches. And it's a triple slip joint. So you have sort of a long nose plier feature here in the first setting. But the difference is I can go to this next setting and instead of having these jaws not be parallel, right? You can see right now they're not parallel if you're grabbing something that's larger. Well, I can go to this next position in the long nose pliers and next and the slip joint and you can see now these jaws are parallel to grab something that's larger. Okay, I can go up to this next slip joint setting and now they're parallel at even a wider opening. So that's really the, the trick with these pliers. Of course, like a lot of Snap-on tools are made in the USA and really just one of the best tools uh, I think Snap-on uh, has put out. I don't have a lot of Snap-on tools, but this is a pretty, uh, pretty impressive tool. I think Harbor Freight has some options you might look into uh, that they're planning on coming out with as well. Anyway, just an excellent tool to have in here for your long nose pliers. What else do I have? I have, uh, so this is just a mechanic straight pick. I like having that in the bag. I just put this little tip on there from one of my meter probes to keep it from jabbing into things. I have a couple of uh, quarter inch sockets here from Makita. Okay, and of course these work with this Vim ratchet. Just pop on this quarter inch anvil or adapter and we can pull off one of these uh, sockets here and I can turn them with this ratchet. So that's the idea behind having this uh, set of sockets in here in both uh, metric and standard. They also come with uh, an anvil in here that you can put in your impact. I don't have that in the bag, but it does come with an anvil that you can drive those with an impact driver. Here I have an assortment of bits here in this railer bit holder. These are from one of these Icon bit sets. I just took the bits out of one of these cases and put them in this railer holder. Here I have Torx bits. We've got some standard or SAE hex bits here. If I flip it over, these are all metric hex bits. I've just got a number two Phillips bit here on the end. These of course all work with that ratchet. Take any one of these Torx bits out. We can pop it in this Vim ratchet. Take out the anvil, pop in these bits. So we have quite a few bits in here. If you include what's in this bit holder and the bits that we have in that Klein 14 and one So quite a few bits to choose from that work with that Vim ratchet. The other item I have is a lighter, just a Bic lighter. Just nice to have it handy to have a lighter in the pouch. This one fits pretty good. I would potentially put a Zippo lighter in here, but the fuel in that lighter will evaporate over just the course of a few months. So there you have it. That's everything I have in this VanQuest pouch. It's a lot of tools that you can fit in here and have. It's not heavy and it's the kind of the pouch that's just handy to have when maybe you don't have other tools with you, right? You can throw this pouch in your car and do furniture assembly or help a friend work on something. Something might come up and you're not planning on uh, working on something and you can do quite a bit with these tools. So the idea is it's just the tools you have on you. It's not an all-encompassing tool set, but the idea is that they're, they're full-size tools that you can actually use. Uh, to do uh, larger work. They're not micro tools and it's not something you have to piece together. These are tools that you just pull them out and they're, and they're ready to use. So that's the idea behind this, this tool pouch setup. So let me know in the comments what you think. Did I miss anything here? What would you add? I know some folks would add wire uh, to this kit. I've done that before. I, I don't have wire in here now because it's just hard to have the wire in here and fit the other items in here. But you know, I know that's a, a nice option to have in, in here as well, in addition to the uh, zip ties. Uh, but let me know in the comments what I may have missed and what you think. And remember, I'll have a link to all these items in the description. And please remember to like and subscribe. All those actions help me to continue to bring content to this channel. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.